Hello everyone. Happy Monday. I hope you everybody had a great weekend. I know mine was sure busy, but it was fantastic. So tomorrow's will be my weekly podcast. So I'll tell you all my goings on, everything I've been doing. But today I want to share with you a little mini yarn haul and a couple little items that go along with yarn that I had purchased. So um, I went to Michael's and not in my city, in another city. I'll talk, talk more about that in tomorrow's video, but, and why I was there and all that. But I just wanted to show you their, some of their clearance yarns that I found or some on that were on sale as well, or some that were new that I seen. So I couldn't buy all the colors, of course, but I just want to share some with you. So let's get into it. So the first one I came across was actually, I'll just do the on sale ones first. And I have something in mind and I've been waiting to find the perfect yarn to make the tin can knits, the knitted sweater, uh, the one that's called flax. I'm just need to buy my needles now. I got my yarn. I just need to buy my needles, but I didn't I'm not doing it right away because a I don't have the needles but also b because I I'm trying the chunkier yarn as some of you might already remember I'm doing a chunky yarn video like I'm watching the video along with it there's a written pattern as well all free and I am quite a bit into this sweater so once I'm done this sweater I'll jump right into having the flax on the needles as well as soon as I get my knitting needles. I'm just deciding on knitting needles to purchase because yesterday at Michael's I was looking through their knitting needles and their bamboos were $14.99, $15.99 a pair. A pair for one pair. So for the flax I need a four, it says a four millimeter and a five millimeter both in 16 mil 16 inches long cord and one for each size with a 32 inch long cord so i would have had to buy four separate needles so i would have to buy two of the 16 inch and two of the 32 inch and michael's only had 29 inch needles so i'm not sure if that would have worked i'm not experienced enough in with sweaters yet to know if that's suffice enough or if I need exactly a 32 needle. I don't know. So if anybody's you did the flax sweater and you know if I can use a larger cord or a shorter cord than it asks for, I'd love to know the information. I came home and I decided I wasn't spending $80 just on needles just to make the one sweater. I figured I should look into some interchangeable needles. I do have a set of those, but they're the cords are too short so I need the longer cords the 32 inch so I figured I heard so much good things about Chagu and I looked into those well you need two different sets if you're gonna if I'm gonna do sweaters and socks and things like that I'm gonna need a, one of the little sets and one of the larger sets so the smaller set would do as long as my gauge doesn't go over five millimeters so if I don't hit gauge I'm sorry, I, I noticed the lighting going in and out. I'm not sure why it's doing that on me today. It didn't do that at all the other day on me. So just try to ignore that. I'm not sure why it's doing that on me. Sorry. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm looking into those because I hear that spending the money is worth it for those because they don't have the, the cord is really, really nice to work with. It's not stiff. It's pliable. It's everybody I hear from says they're amazing so I don't really want to sink $70 into a cheap set when it's only actually 160 for the really good set so then it what if I buy the cheap set and then I regret not buying and then I end up buying it anyway well I wasted 70 plus dollars right so um, if you have any uh, needle recommendations I would love to hear them I'm it doesn't matter. I'm okay with aluminum. I'm okay with plastic. I'm okay with bamboo. Doesn't matter. I just heard that sometimes bamboo, some of the cotton yarns will be kind of a little bit sticky on them to they don't slide as nicely. 
I'm not sure about that though because I make dishcloths and have no trouble with my bamboo so maybe it's just I I maybe I knit enough like loose enough maybe I knit loose enough that it's not going to stick for me and I'm I'll be okay with them I'm not sure so I'm not sure the prices of all those but I'll look into everything any recommendations uh but right now like I'd like to order them by the end of the week so because I have a feeling I'll have my sweater done probably in the next oh I better not say two weeks and then fail at that well by the end of the month let's just say by the end of the month because I've never did a sweater before so I have no idea but I'm it's coming along really really nicely but I have other projects I'm in the middle of as well so I have to put that down and start on this and start on you know and I like switching it around I don't like working on the same project for like eight hours straight I like to switch it up I keep everything my mind busy and occupied on different things so here's the yarn that I found that I want to do the flax sweater in and I think it's going to be beautiful you might have seen this if you have a Michaels near you already but this is new to me because I haven't been there really so this is from loops and thread that's the Michaels brand and it's called flex look at the pink oh my gosh I wish they had it in purple I'm not sure if they ever do but when I seen the pink I said that'll work for me because these were on I believe they were they're $11.99 regular but they were on for $6.97 per skein and I purchased three so th three will do the sweater no problem um for my size anyway um this colorway is called pink galore I'll give you the information 590 yards or 10.58 ounces 539 meters or oh ignore I said all that 590 yards or 539 meters 10.5 ounces or 300 grams a lot of things when it has here the the yards it'll have the grant uh the meters right beside but if as you can see it's split here's the metric and there's the imperial or vice versa yeah vice versa there's the metric over here and the imperials here so i read that wrong this is um hand wash cold in cold water do not bleach dry flat and do not iron which i'm okay with for my sweater it's 72 so 79 percent acrylic 21 percent polyester and super super soft on my scale of one to ten i say this is about an eight it's very soft very very soft that light is driving me crazy how it's doing that today i'm i'm not sure why it's doing that usually i don't notice it doing that on me so again it's pink pink galore is the colorway and it's made in china and it's called flex uses 4.5 millimeter knitting needles or five millimeter crochet hook and it's a number four medium weight yarn i bought three of those pretty pretty yarn so that was on sale and here's my my other on sale sale one another one um i've never used this yarn before it's michael's brand and i know i don't i've said before that it's like red heart super saver it's a scratchy type yarn but they do soften in the wash and they're they have their place like i love them for for hats if you have hair it doesn't really matter uh, for slippers is what I the reason why I bought this um, amigurumi are fine with this as well because it's not it doesn't it, it'll last a long long time they really really wear well so it's the craft smart brand never enough and this is in the multi beautiful like like a mint green and a robin's egg blue and the colorway is called turquoise mint mint turquoise mint 
I was trying to read the French way, but <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Um, this has 609 yards or 557 meters, 11.5 ounce, 11.9 ounces or 340 grams. It's a number four weight medium yarn using nine millimeter no that's a nine number nine knitting needles which is 5.5 .5 millimeter um oh that's for the scarf that's on the pattern so 5.5 .5 millimeter knitting needles or crochet hook um it says to wash cold gentle cycle do not bleach tumble dry on low and do not iron and it has dye lots so you want to make sure you get enough of the dye lots and again this is kind of rough scratchy yarn but i've heard from people if you use like a shampoo to wash hand wash and then use some hair conditioner to soak it in and then rinse it out and dry it that it softens up nicely so you might want to try that so again that's never enough multi from craft smart um, it is made in Turkey. I bought this to make some slippers. And if I have a little bit left over, I might even do a hat. Not to wear at the same time. It's just, there might be just enough for the slippers and the hat. Following my pattern. That was $11.99 regular price and it's on sale for $6.97 this week. My next one that was sale price is the loops and thread shimmer shawl here we go and this colorway is called pink lady this these are usually 11.99 a piece which i've actually purchased them for and i got these for 4.99 this week they were, had very limited left at the store that I was at. So somebody knew that it was a good deal and went crazy on them because there was only like four different colorways left. So this is hand wash cold, do not bleach, dry flat, warm iron as needed. It's in number three weight yarn, 3.75 meter millimeter knitting needles or three millimeter crochet hook. It's 61% cotton and 34% acrylic and 5% polyester. And it's not bad. It's hard to tell because it's so tightly wound that it feels like it would be rough. Like it feels like a maybe number four or five. But I think once it gets a really lovely drape on it and you're, it's just flowy, I think it would, it'll loosen up and it'll feel a lot softer than when it's feeling on here because you can see how tightly wound that is so and this is made in China so I bought two of those pretty very very pretty those guys and I bought some more of the craft smart they have some new colors out I've never never tried any of the new colors and I found two colorways that I just wanted to make something specific for so I didn't buy them just to show you I didn't buy otherwise I would have been buying real all kinds of different colors to show you but I just wanted to show you a couple of the colors and they had some really really beautiful colors like I probably will purchase more for to make some slippers for gifts and some hats and things but I wanted to get a, this color to make myself a hat. It's like a mustard, mustardy, flecky color. The flecks aren't color, I know. This is called, actually, it's called mustard. Perfect. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's like a goldish mustard color. This is a... Uh, Gentle wash, gentle cycle, no. Machine wash cold, gentle cycle, do not bleach, tumble dry low, do not iron. And they have dye lots just like the other. So this size, this is smaller than the other size ball I showed you. So it is, how big here? Oh, 252 yards or 231 meters. 
five ounces or 141 grams. Uses a 5.5 millimeter knitting needle and, or a crochet hook, whichever you're using. Number four weight yarn, of course. And it's made in Turkey as well. So I guess they're craft smart. All their craft smarts are made in Turkey. So all the weight and the length and everything, all the sizing is the exact same as in the next colorway I'm going to show you. I bought two of these balls. This colorway is called doo -doo -doo, Ivy and Cranberries. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, I forgot to tell you, it's 100% acrylic too. I forgot to tell you that on the first one. And again, it's like a four or five number, but should soften in the wash if you do it real with some nice either hair con hair conditioner or a really nice um, fabric softener a really good quality one but there's the color look at that I could not oh I couldn't believe that uh, first thing I thought of Christmas slippers for myself so I bought two balls to make myself Christmas slippers and make a nice long cuff on them so i have a big fold down cuff and then i'm going to put some of my um pipsqueak yarn around the ankles to make it nice and fluffy and warm for myself for the christmas time i start wearing christmas stuff in like november 1st and all the way until january because we have a, a chris family christmas that's in january as well so we make it a just like Christmas, we say Merry Christmas and everything, even though it's January, it gives us something all nice to look forward to. And it's a good time of year because we're all available. We don't have anything going on in January. So, and now for the next one, these two are the same brand. So I will show you the two colors. These are Lion Brand. Um, oh, these here, sorry, before I go on to that. The value, the craft smart value yarn, these are $3.97 or $3.99 each. That's an everyday price. I never memorized the pennies, so I don't know if it's $3.97 or $3.99. It's only two cents difference. This is Lion Brand Jeans. In the colorways of, this is called Faded. And this one is called Stove Pipe. I bought these two just, I'm going to make hats with them. So I'll give you the information. They're both the same. So three, I'll read it off of this one and just show you this beautiful colorway while you're listening. 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. 246 yards or 225 meters it's a number four weight yarn uses oh this is small printing 4.5 millimeter knitting needles or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook 100 percent acrylic and it's pretty soft it's like a number six it's not super soft but it's not scratchy either um it's there's dye lots so buy enough of the same dye lot to make your project machine washable and dryable made in india and did i forget anything you can go on to as normal lionbrand.com and they have over seven thousand free patterns for you to download yeah that's that's it. So again, this colorway is stovepipe, and this one is called faded. Boy, it's pretty. I, I have never used this yarn, so I'm anxious to try a hat one night. So I purchased this one. I don't know. I'm suspicious. I'm thinking it's a sock yarn. Here it is. It's very tiny. I'm not sure if it's a, it looks like it's a number two, but it could be just a thicker number one. But to me, it looked like sock yarn. And I was thinking of just making one of the sock head cowls with it or a sock head hat. 
it has grays and browns and some strips of white so a little t like s little strips of blue like there's not very many and some like orange not orange um yellowish green in there too so pretty this is uh 8.99 regular price and it was 4.97 on sale like on clearance i forgot to tell you the price of the jeans the jeans was six, it's six ninety nine regular price and it was on clearance for three ninety seven a piece, both of them. They still had jeans, some but it was different colorways, so they must be getting all new like rebranding of their colors and just put on clearance all the old stock that the old colors. So I I took the only two balls that I could find that were in the clearance bin. They didn't have a whole lot left at that store. But it was sure nice to go to a different store to see what they had on their clearance rack. That's it for yarn, but I have a couple of items here that I wanted to share with you. And I picked up these two things, and what I'm planning on to do with them is use them as stitch markers. You might have seen them on my uh, thumbnail there. Unless you have a little tiny screen and you couldn't really make out what I was holding. But one is a llama. Or an alpaca I think it's a llama though and the other one is a trailer I have a instead of a cottage like a physical like building we have a 38 two 38 foot trailers on a four acre property and it's actually probably bigger than we can what we can build for the same amount of money so it has so much storage space it's like a little tiny home amazing place we have queen side beds rooms at each end of both of them and one two two other areas for people to sleep so each trailer can sleep eight people up to eight people in each one but four can sleep in very comfortably and have a there's a big living room kitchen area in the middle and a bathroom that separates the two bedrooms so there's lots of room in there so that's why I chose the trailer one and I thought the the llama was a, just really 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 cute so they're I'm going to use them as stitch markers they're very tiny so the tinier ones I would use for either knitting or crocheting with maybe up to a number three weight yarn because they're they have a little lobster clasp as you can see there but so they're removable and so they they're just a cute cute idea so onto stitch markers i as you you might be aware at michael's you get um something for 25 30 percent 40 percent sometimes this week was a 30 percent off coupon so i wanted to get something a little bit worth a little bit more to save 30 percent so oh i don't re i don't even remember how much these were I believe they're $4.99, but I'm not, I'm not positive. Um, so I bought some, just the soft stitch ring markers. And there is 10 small pieces and 20 large pieces. These are not for crocheting. These are for knitting specifically because they don't have an opening or anything. They just slip onto the needles and then you don't, you can't slip them off until you get to the, your next round and then slip them over to your needle and then work that round. So I was using the, the, the um, ones with lobster claws, but they were larger and, but, oh no, they weren't lobster claws. They were the ones that are shaped like an E and they have a little slit at the bottom. Well, don't, you know, I ended up losing them off my knitting because they just kind of work their way over the needle like not over the needle but say this is the needle it just pulled off I was like oh my goodness I had to try to figure out where my starting point was that wasn't fun at all so I got had to pick up these so these were don't mind my nail my nails I didn't do my nails today these were hmm, I believe they were $5.99 so I guess I'm getting them for like 420-ish. Yeah, 420-ish. It's 
So the small ones are on the bottom. So those are to use the small when you ha are knitting with a point two a zero. Oh, just a minute. I'm trying to read this how you do. Hmm. So small number. Oh, from a two millimeter knitting needles to a 3.75 millimeter knitting needle. So if you're making a tiny shawl or cowl using like lace or fingering, fingerling or maybe even a sport yarn. So, or socks, these the small are great for socks. And the large ones are for 3.75 millimeter needles to eight millimeter needles. So those are great. They're going to come in handy. I have a little tin that I have of mints. Of course, I ate the mints and I have them in that little tin, all my stitch markers, so I don't lose them because I've lost enough of them in my day. So the last thing I found in a clearance bin and it had random stuff. I usually never stop at those bins because I only really am... I, interested in the knitting and crochet stuff and the yarns and usually they're all in that section they're not in the mixed section with baking and you know and seasonal and things like that so I was surprised when I seen this sitting on the top so I said I'm gonna purchase these this was the only size that I seen so they're circular knitting needles and they're 16 inch knitting needles 3.75 millimeters and they're aluminum which I'm fine with as I said I'm okay with aluminum. The clicking kind of drives my husband a little cuckoo sometimes when we're driving and I'm knitting as we're in the car, but I, I'm sure I won't be using these in the car anyway. The 16 inch ones are great for doing sleeves on sweaters. So that's why the flax one, sweater one is asking you to do have 16 inch is for, I believe is, I know it's for the sleeves for one, but I think the other size is for to start around your neck you start at the 16 inch and then you could go to the bigger one I think but maybe I could just start using the longer needle 32 inch and if you do a magic magic loop I'm not sure I don't know I wish I knew the answers to all this stuff I guess I could look it up but anyway these aluminum circulars are loops and thread brand and they were regular $7.99 and they were a clearance for $3.27. Now all my prices are Canadian because I'm in Ca Ontario, Canada. So, and these are made in China. I don't know if all this stuff is made in China, these little doohickeys. These stitch rings are made in Japan. And these were uh, made in China as well. So, but yeah, so you could see these were $8 regular price. So by the time I buy the four, that, that was 32 plus taxes for the four pairs. And that was just aluminum ones. And they weren't just $7.99 because the longer ones were $14.99 or $15.99 because I'm, of course, going to get the, the better quality ones. And they didn't have any of the really, really cheap ones, any of them left. The cheapest I've seen were $9.99 for the uh, four millimeter and five millimeter because I guess it's a larger size needle, so they went up in price. So, but that's it. I'm going to have do my regular pot weekly podcast tomorrow and tell you everything going on, what I plan, what I've did, what I've created, everything. So that's my regular weekly one. I just wanted to show you my little little bit of yarn haul here, and that's it. So everybody happy monday hope everybody is well i'm going to get going now have a safe day wonderful day and keep on being naughty everybody bye for now